Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kayla and welcome. So today's video is all about prepping your lunch for the week and lunch meal prep is super important, especially if you don't work from home. Because if you don't already have a healthy, nutritious lunch packed and ready to go, you're gonna be more likely to go get that fast food or just eat whatever's at the office. And this can really start to throw off your clean eating routine throughout the week. But even for those who do work from home like myself, I still find it very beneficial to already have a healthy lunch prepped in advance, especially on those weeks where I know I'm gonna be very busy and I won't have time to cook up something fresh every single day. So to give you some ideas, I've come up with five make ahead healthy lunch recipes plus snacks, including my loaded burger bowl salad in a jar with homemade Thousand Island dressing. And this may be the best salad you've ever had, by the way. My autumn harvest nourishing Buddha bowl, which is completely vegan. My pecan butternut squash chicken and wild rice bowl. This one is so good and perfect for fall. This creamy salmon salad, which is perfect for sandwiches, lettuce wraps, or even on its own. This meal replacement superfood smoothie, which is great for boosting your weight loss. And my delicious Greek yogurt fruit salad as a healthy snack. And I'm super excited to be partnering with Monbento again for today's video. Y'all really seem to enjoy the last meal prep video I did with them. And I figured we'd do it again because their lunch boxes are amazing quality, super functional, and perfect for meal prepping. Of course, they have their popular bento boxes, which come in different sizes and really cool designs. This is their MB Original, which is rectangular in shape and a bit smaller, but still plenty of room for both lunch and snacks. And then we have the larger MB Square, which fits things like sandwiches and wraps really well. And of course, there's room for lots of healthy snacks. I like both. It just depends on what I'm eating that day. And they've also come out with some new items, including their MB Jars, which we'll be using today to prep the burger bowl salad and the Buddha bowl. The MB Positive M bottle, which I love the look of this. It's so pretty. And by the way, all of their containers are BPA free. We also have the MB Saver and MB Delight, which are great for packing things like yogurt and fruit salad. Of course, they're popular sauce cups for dressings and dips. The MB Extras collection, which fit perfectly into their lunch boxes. And of course, their portable cutlery. And that's the cool thing about Monbento is that you can really customize and build the perfect meal prepping system to fit your needs. But each of the bento boxes comes with two stackable trays, which gives you plenty of room for packing lunch in one and snacks in the other. And you also get an extra container included for packing things like nuts and dips. And of course, you can add on any of the extras and really customize it, like these sauce cups or the MB Extras containers, which fit perfectly inside their bento boxes. And best of all, they're leak-proof and airtight whenever you close the seal, and they even leave room to add their portable cutlery. So anyway, I'll go ahead and leave Monbento's website linked for y'all in the description box below along with my discount code. They're giving y'all 10% off the entire website, including promotional items, until December the 31st. All right, I'm ready to share these delicious recipes with y'all. Don't forget you can print off all the recipes over on my blog, which I will link that below as well. But anyway, let's head to the kitchen and get started. The first healthy lunch recipe I'm making today is my loaded burger bowl salad in a jar with a super simple homemade Thousand Island dressing. Okay, let's start by cooking the bacon first and I'm gonna be using turkey bacon but of course you can also use regular bacon and this recipe does make four servings now while that's cooking let's go ahead and chop up half of a yellow onion and this onion was extra large so I ended up only using about a fourth of it and then I froze the rest for future meal prepping and going back to the bacon you just want to continue to cook them until they're fully browned and then drain the excess oil on a paper towel and in that same skillet add in one pound of grass-fed beef and of course you can can also use ground chicken or ground turkey for this and while that's cooking I'm gonna go ahead and chop everything up including one red onion and onions contain a powerful flavonoid called quercetin which has anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties one cup of cherry tomatoes half a cup of dill pickle slices and some romaine lettuce don't forget to rinse the lettuce but make sure that it's fully dry before you prep the salad and going back to the ground beef mixture, once it's about 50% done, go ahead and add in the burger seasonings, including one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of sea salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and one fourth teaspoon of onion powder. Now, I also like to add a couple of dashes of cayenne pepper to add a little spice, but this is optional. And then add in the chopped onion, and just let that cook until the beef is fully browned and the onions are soft and translucent. And while that's cooking, we'll go ahead and prep the 
homemade Thousand Island dressing. Starting with half a cup plus one tablespoon of avocado mayonnaise. And y'all know I love the Primal Kitchen brand because it contains super clean ingredients. Next, I'm adding one tablespoon each of organic ketchup and tomato paste, three tablespoons of organic pickled relish, half a teaspoon of raw honey, and half a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Go ahead and mix all that up until everything's fully combined. And because this is a dressing, not a dip, we do wanna thin out that consistency a little bit, so I'm adding in three tablespoons of water, but feel free to add more or less depending on the consistency that you want. And just continue to mix that until everything is fully incorporated. And other than my homemade dairy-free ranch dressing that I've shared with y'all before, this is another one of my favorite homemade salad dressings. All right, so since we're making this salad in a jar style, we're gonna layer the ingredients, starting with a couple of tablespoons of the salad dressing on the bottom, followed by one serving of the ground beef mixture. And I love the new MB jars because they are perfect for prepping salads in advance. Now I'm gonna layer that with some chopped purple onion, along with the cherry tomatoes. And of course, can't forget the chopped dill pickles. Next, I'm adding the turkey bacon, and I just cut that into bite-sized pieces. And because this is called a loaded burger bowl salad, I've gotta add some organic cheese, but of course, this is optional. And lastly, the romaine lettuce. I'm also packing some avocado on the side using one of the MB Extras containers. And by the way, just like with any salad in a jar, whenever you get ready to serve it, you just dump it all into a bowl or onto a plate, toss everything together, and that's it. It's ready to go. But believe me when I say, this salad is a must try. For a healthy snack, I'm gonna pack some of my Greek yogurt fruit salad using the MB Delight container. And this is so simple to make. Just start by slicing up the fruit, including one cup of strawberries, one medium-sized apple, and any variety is fine. I'm using a Fuji apple today. And I'm gonna keep the skin on because it contains the highest concentration of pectin, which is a soluble fiber that's great for supporting digestion and may even help to prevent colon cancer. And since peaches are in season down here in Texas, I'm also gonna add in one cup of peaches, but you can use apricots or even pears. And to add an extra crunch, I'm gonna chop up half a cup of pecans. Let's add all that to a mixing bowl along with one cup of grapes and one cup of fresh blueberries. Toss that around to make sure everything is fully combined. And like I always say, just look at those vibrant colors. All right, all we need to do now is make the Greek yogurt dressing. For that, you're gonna need half a cup of plain Greek yogurt. Now, of course, you can also use a dairy-free yogurt for this. One teaspoon of vanilla extract and two tablespoons of raw honey. Let's go ahead and mix all that up until the honey and vanilla are fully worked into the yogurt. Then let's add the zest from one lemon along with the juice from that same lemon. And if you want it to be extra tangy, you can add the juice from a second lemon as well. But the lemon juice is gonna help to keep the apple from turning brown and it's gonna help to preserve the nutrients. And lastly, let's add in half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Go ahead and give that a good mix and then pour it over the fruit salad. Toss that around until all the fruit is coated with the Greek yogurt dressing. And by the way, your kids will love this too, so it's a delicious and easy way to sneak in more fruit for the kids. But this fruit salad is loaded with antioxidants and even protein from the Greek yogurt. All right, now I'm just gonna cover it with foil and just let it marinate in the fridge until you're ready to serve it or pack it for lunch. Okay, the next healthy lunch I'm prepping is this fall-inspired pecan butternut squash chicken and wild rice dish, and it is so, so good. All right, let's get the rice to cooking first. In a saucepan, add in two cups of chicken broth and one cup of water. Bring that to a boil and then add in one cup of wild rice, two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, and half a teaspoon of sea salt. Now turn the heat to low medium, add a lid, and let that simmer for about 35 to 45 minutes or until the rice is fully done and the liquid has been absorbed. Next, let's start on the chicken. You'll need one pound of chicken breast. And I'm just gonna season it to taste with black pepper, sea salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and paprika. And make sure you rub those seasonings into the chicken. And to cook them, I'm gonna use my pressure cooker, but you can also bake them. So in my Ninja Foodie, I'm adding in the rack that comes with it, along with one cup of water. Go ahead and place the chicken onto the rack, secure the pressure cooking lid, set the valve to the sealed position, and then pressure cook it on high for 10 to 12 minutes. Now while both of those are cooking, let's chop everything up, starting with a yellow onion. And you'll need half a cup chopped. And by the way, if you have leftovers, you can always freeze it for future meal prepping. I'm also gonna chop up the butternut squash. You're gonna need two cups cubed. And it's not as hard as you think to cut a butternut squash. Just cut off the ends first, then take your vegetable peeler and remove the skin. 
cut it in half so it's easier to manage, and then just start cutting it lengthwise and then cut it into cubes. And you're gonna do the same thing for the other end, just make sure that you remove the seeds and the stringy flesh first. And by the way, don't waste those seeds because you can roast them. All right, next, let's chop up one third cup of pecans. And then in a skillet over medium heat, add in one tablespoon of avocado oil or coconut oil. You can also use grass-fed ghee along with the chopped onion. Give that a good stir to make sure the onions are coated with the oil and just let that saute for a couple of minutes. And then we're gonna add in the cubed butternut squash. Toss that again, add a lid and just cook that until the butternut squash is soft enough to pierce with a fork. And once the rice is done, you can go ahead and set that aside. Going back to the chicken, let's do a quick release on the pressure cooker and then shred it with a fork. And by the way, you can make this dish without the chicken if you want it to be vegan. Um, just make sure that you use vegetable broth when cooking the rice. All right, going back to the butternut squash mixture, it's definitely done and I wish you could smell it right now because it smells so good. Let's add in the chopped pecans along with one third cup of dried cranberries. Toss that around and let it cook for about two to three minutes. And now I'm gonna add in the wild rice and just gently mix that in, followed by the shredded chicken, and just continue mixing that until everything is fully combined. Now at this point, I like to add in some sea salt and pepper to taste, along with a splash of chicken broth just to make sure that it's not too dry. But this recipe is great for lunch or dinner, and I love the sweet and savory combination that it gives, along with the crunch from the pecans. All right, let's transfer it to the MB Original Lunchbox. I'm just gonna pack that right in and then garnish it with some fresh parsley. Add the lid and don't forget to close the seal. And in the other tray, I'm gonna pack some healthy snacks, including raw nuts, a boiled egg, and using one of the MB Extras containers, I'm gonna pack some of the Greek yogurt fruit salad. And I love how it just fits perfectly into the lunchbox. And just like that, this lunchbox is ready to go. Just stack the containers, add your cutlery, secure the lid with the elastic strap, and lunch meal prep number two is done. The next healthy lunch you can prep in advance is my Autumn Harvest Nourishing Buddha Bowl. And this one is completely vegan. We're gonna be using the MB jar again and layering those ingredients. So let's get started with the quinoa first. In a saucepan, add in two cups of water along with one cup of quinoa. Give that a good mix and bring it to a boil. Then reduce the heat to low medium, add a lid, and let that cook for about 15 minutes. Next, I'm peeling and chopping up a sweet potato into small cubes. You're gonna need two cups worth. And by the way, if you've never had a Buddha bowl before, it's basically a one bowl meal that's usually plant-based. And with this one, each ingredient is cooked instead of being raw like a salad, which is why they're great to serve in the fall and winter. But the cool thing is that you can eat it cold or warm. You're also gonna need one cup of beets, peeled and cubed. Add both of those to a lined baking sheet along with one tablespoon of avocado oil. And I'm gonna season that with some pepper, sea salt, garlic powder, and paprika to taste. And keep in mind that because we're creating this in layers, we wanna make sure that we season each layer. Go ahead and toss those around to make sure they're fully coated with the oil and seasonings, and then spread them out evenly onto the baking sheet. You're gonna roast these at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 30 minutes or until they're tender. Okay, while those are cooking, I'm gonna de-stem my kale. And you can chop it up if you want it to be in smaller pieces. You're gonna need two cups worth along with some broccoli florets, and I'm just gonna cut those into small bite-sized pieces. You'll need one to two cups worth of the broccoli. And so now I'm just gonna steam the broccoli until it's soft, and then add the kale to a skillet over medium heat, along with a splash of water, and just cook that until it's wilted to your liking. For the kale, I'm also gonna add in some fresh lemon juice and some sea salt and pepper to taste. All right, while those are cooking, let's go ahead and open up a can of chickpeas, and make sure you rinse those really well. Then transfer them to a mixing bowl, and we're gonna add some pepper, sea salt, paprika, and cumin to taste. This is just gonna help to boost the flavor. Go ahead and toss those around to make sure they're fully coated. And going back to the quinoa, once it's done, you'll wanna fluff it up gently with a fork, so that way it's not all stuck together. And once the potatoes and beets are done, just let them cool off while we prep the tahini dressing. 
Okay, for the dressing, you're gonna need half a cup of tahini, and make sure you get the one that only says sesame seeds, no other added ingredients, along with one fourth cup of lemon juice, and let's mix all that up until it's fully combined. Now, if you've never tried tahini before, it's actually really good. It's made from sesame seeds, and it's completely paleo. And just continue to mix that until it forms a thick texture. Now, I'm adding in six tablespoons of water to really thin that out. Mix all that up until the lumps are gone. Next, add in two minced garlic garlic cloves, half a teaspoon of sea salt, and a dash of paprika and cumin. And just continue mixing until it's fully combined. And now it's time to assemble the Buddha bowl. Let's add in the tahini dressing first, enough to coat the bottom of the jar. Then add in one serving of the quinoa. And by the way, quinoa also contains quercetin, just like I mentioned before with the onion, which is a super beneficial flavonoid that has anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties. All right, now let's layer in those roasted sweet potatoes and beets, along with some of the seasoned chickpeas. Next, I'm going to add a layer of the sauteed kale, and lastly, some of the steamed broccoli. Go ahead and add the lid, and don't forget to close that seal. And this nourishing Buddha bowl is ready to go. And as a healthy snack, I'm going to use the MB Saver container to pack in some almond butter along with celery and carrot sticks. And this container is also great for packing things like yogurts and even the fruit salad. The next healthy lunch recipe is my creamy salmon salad, but we're gonna be making it with fresh salmon today instead of canned, because in my opinion, it is so much better. Okay, so you're gonna need 12 ounces of wild caught salmon, which is about three fillets. And I'm just gonna lightly season the salmon with sea salt, pepper, paprika, and garlic powder. And just rub those seasonings all over the salmon until they're fully coated. Now, of course, you can bake the salmon, but I prefer to pan fry it for this recipe. So in a skillet over medium heat, I'm adding in one tablespoon of avocado oil along with the three salmon fillets and just cook those until they're fully done. I like them to be a bit charred on the outside but not too much. It only takes about 10 minutes to cook through. Once they're done go ahead and turn off the heat and while those are cooling I'm going to chop everything up starting with a red onion. You're going to need one fourth cup chopped, two to four tablespoons of chopped green onion, one fourth cup of celery chopped into bite-sized pieces, and two tablespoons of fresh, finely minced dill. And if you can't find fresh dill, you can also use half a teaspoon of dried dill. But if you can find fresh dill, please go for that because it does taste better. Okay, once the salmon has cooled, let's go ahead and flake it with a fork. You do want to remove the skin, but don't waste that skin. Personally, I actually like to eat the skin on its own <laughs> because it's already cooked and seasoned, so it actually tastes really good. And it's loaded with omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin B, vitamin D, and selenium. Okay, let's transfer all that to a mixing bowl. And I love this recipe because it's a delicious way to sneak in more salmon. And it's even a good recipe to try, even if you don't like the taste of salmon on its own, you might like this salad. I'm also adding in one fourth cup of the Primal Kitchen avocado mayonnaise. If you want it to be a bit creamier, feel free to add in one third cup of the mayonnaise. And just mix all that up until everything is fully combined. I also like to add in a little bit more sea salt and pepper here to taste. And you can serve this salmon salad so many different ways. Today I'm going to add it to some gluten-free bread, but you can also serve it over a bed of lettuce, have it as a wrap, or just eat it with some healthy crackers or even on its own. Okay, so it's time to pack our lunchbox. I'm using the larger MB square for this because it's perfect for sandwiches and wraps. I'm going to add some cucumber wedges for an extra crunch, add the lid and close the seal. And in the other tray, I'm going to pack some of the Greek yogurt fruit salad along with some celery sticks. And using one of the MB sauce cups, which I love these, I'm gonna pack some almond butter for dipping. And this lunchbox is done. Just stack the containers, add the cutlery and lid, secure that lid with the elastic strap, and we're ready to go. And lastly, I'm sharing a meal replacement superfood smoothie. So if you're trying to boost your weight loss, try replacing your lunch with this smoothie. In a blender, I'm adding in one cup of frozen mango. You can also use frozen pineapple or a frozen banana. Half of a ripe avocado for the healthy fats and nutrients, two tablespoons of ground flax seeds or ground chia seeds, one teaspoon of matcha powder, which can help to boost your energy levels and metabolism, one scoop of any high quality protein powder, I'm going to be using my collagen peptides, and one handful of spinach. Add in your favorite type of milk, I'm using one cup of unsweetened almond milk, and just blend that up until it's extra smooth, and I'm going to pour it into the new MB Positive M bottle, which I love the look of this bottle, it is so pretty. And like I said, 
said, use this smoothie as a meal replacement to help boost your weight loss results. And just like that, you have five delicious make ahead healthy lunchbox ideas to serve throughout the week and to help you reach your health and weight loss goals a lot faster. Well, all right, y'all, that is it for today's video. Five make ahead healthy lunch ideas plus snacks. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give this video a thumbs up to let me know. Of course, if you give any of today's recipes a try, comment below, let me know how you liked it. And if you give any of my recipes a try, don't forget you can tag me in your food photos over on Instagram and I will reshare that on my stories. I wanna thank Mon Bento for collaborating with me on this video. Don't forget, I'm gonna link their website and the discount code for y'all in the description box below. Below. Of course, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you enjoy healthy recipes, healthy meal preps, lifestyle advice, all that good stuff, be sure to hit that subscribe button below. But that's it for today. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.